Oh, what the fuck is... Hey, whoa, slow down. Uh, these teams have sent you trade offers. Accept one offer or decline them all. Jeez. Um, so do they want Josh Akame for Mark Melanson. We, I did say we need some relief. Uh, ooh. Joe Musgrove. Looking at that. I really like this deal. I don't give a shit about Connor Wong. Jer Jaron Duran has a prospect card for us, and he's a center, center fielder. I don't know why he's in right field there, but he's a D potential, so that won't increase ever. Right? Your potential can't increase, as far as I'm concerned. How's he doing this year? He started five games, two and one, a six ERA. Oh, boy. Ooh. He's given up four homers last year with Pitt in eight games. He's given up five. He's given up a lot of home runs. Jesus. And he's going to be a free agent after this season. I like it. I really like this deal. Because Joe Musgrove is very good. And Martin Perez easily dog shit like let's compare okay four what about richards eight c thank you oh thank god someone made me look right oh uh, yes i'll do this absolutely i love it welcome to the team joe musgrove joe musgrove a boston red Sox. would you like to adjust your lineups absolutely uh yeah, yeah, him being fifth makes the most sense. Uh, Perez being there absolutely makes sense. Um, you have a lot of stamina. Wow, you could be a starting pitcher. That's we have a we have three long relief pitchers. That's fucking beautiful. It's actually insane. All right. Uh, yeah. And now I'm probably gonna have to. Do a little quick moment. Ah, perform well for a season-long boost. So I'm probably going to have to start a game as this brand-new pitcher. Let's do that. Joe Musgrove, 2-1 and one with a 6 ERA. Going up against Colby Allard with a 1-3 win-loss record. 25 innings pitched. 34 hits, 15 walks given up while striking out 14 with a 9 ERA. That is terrible. That means you give up nine runs per game. Uh, Nat Vasgersian here. Nah, I'm kidding. All right. I'm just going to pitch. I kind of dig this because it lets you just pitch. Ah, oh, come on. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Not gonna give me that. Thanks. We're first in the AL. We have tw we're 21 and seven. That just said in the the right over the Yankees beating the Tigers. And wow, Dahlback ran and was like, "Nah, that's mine, Jack." The stadium looks beautiful. I would love to check it out in real life. It'd be pretty sweet, you know. Just get your fucking Texas Rangers thing. But I don't know. It's 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 up there. Rangers Park was never the Arlington one, the original one prior to this one was never up there. Uh Astros Field looks amazing, but it's definitely low now that they're a bunch of cheating scumbags. Um Next I mean I would love to go back to Atlanta. To I went to Atlanta Braves, I went to Chicago Cubs. I would absolutely love to go back to both of those places. They treated me I went to a White Sox game with Red Sox gear on in September, and they were all like, oh, you guys are going to kill us. Like, they, they were that, like, humble, and I respect that. Because Yankee fans are a motherfucker. They will just cuss you out, talk shit. Like, like this one dude in a pink shirt, pink dress-up shirt, came up to me, whispered in my ear, fucking pussy. I was wearing Red Sox gear. At a Yankee Stadium for a Red Sox game. I don't care. I'm not going to wear a Aaron Judge jersey. Sorry. I'm not. 
overrated idiot. I wore a fucking no name Red Sox jersey. And they were like, he was like, fucking pussy. And I turned, I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? He already ran. He was gone. I couldn't find him. People were like, oh, boo. Like, shut the fuck up. If you're at Fenway and you wear, you can wear whatever you want. I'll look at you. If you're wearing a fucking a Buster Posey jersey at a Tampa Bay Red Sox game, I'll be like, oh, dude, what the fuck? Like, just don't. Why are you wearing that? Never played for either of these teams. I'll look at that and be like, what the fuck? But in my head, I won't bother you. I would never bother somebody who's trying to enjoy a game. It's like, all right, maybe that's the only thing you got. That's baseball. Fuck it, you know? In my head, I'd be like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't go, oh, dude, don't never play for the team before. Yeah, thanks. Fucking idiot. Shut up. Uh, I have a good story. I went to a Rangers game, Texas Rangers. Uh, the night, the night before, I went with my dad. That's two innings. And then I went with my friend the next day. And I wore, uh, this was back when Josh Hamilton played. This was like 10 years ago. I still remember it. And we were terrible. Uh, the Red Sox were like losing like 9 nothing Or 9-1. to one In like the third inning. And I had this... Josh Ham blue Josh Hamilton jersey on. Underneath it, I had a sleeveless Red Sox uh, shirt. Red with the logo, all that. The g people around me were just fucking around with me, joking around. It was nice. One guy goes, you guys made it to the World Series and lost. And I'm like, yeah, and the Red Sox didn't make the playoffs. And he shut the fuck up immediately. Then... We were in center field, over and right. This guy in a Yankees, a uh, Yankees, in a Rangers jersey, got into a fight with another guy, and it like you could see it, like because there's people like falling over railings and falling over seats, over people. It was insane. And cops had to break him up. Security, dude was put in a paddy wagon. I took that jersey off, and I was like, I come in peace. I don't. I'm not like that guy. I love, and you know, I explained to them I also love the Red Sox, and they all like clap, like, yeah! Because they took it off, I'm like, I'm not, nope, don't want any beef. You outnumber me. I'm like, you gotta know when to fight. You know, you can't just fucking, oh, it'll take you all on. No, like, I love the Red Sox. I'm not gonna fucking fight people that like the Red Sox. I like both. I, li I love them. I love, I, l I like Josh Hamilton. I thought he was incredible. He had an amazing story. Home run derby performance fucking wowed me. Um, he had a great swing, too. Um, I love the Atlanta Braves and the Cubs. Love them. I love Mike Trout. I think he's the best player in baseball today. Uh, Tatis Jr. is the best rising star in the game today. That also has a fa had a father play. Vladdy Jr. is getting up there, too. Like, Vladdy Jr. hit a three, as of this recording, hit a three-run homer game. Ooh, I thought he just ripped that one. Who's this? Oh, it's, I I can't pronounce that name, I'll be honest. Absolutely just blatantly can't announce that name. I love Freddie Freeman, Ronald Acuna Jr., mainly because he has my first name. Um... Josh Donaldson, who's now on the Twins, I like. I liked it when he was on the Blue Jays. Um, trying to think of other play like so many players. You, uh, Kirk Kershaw, I like the Dodgers. I love Mookie Betts. You can't be mad at Mookie. I went to the 2015 home opener. He robbed Bryce Harper, stole two bases, and then fucking hit a three-run bomb to cap it off. Like, how can you hate a guy like that that won a World Series and brought joy to you? He was traded. We weren't going to pay him. You can't hate a guy like that. He's not a disrespectful player. He plays his fucking ass off. When he got called up, they're like, hey, can you start at second base? He's like, yeah. And they were like, have you ever played a, a game at second base in your life? And he was like, no. 
That's fucking, you respect guys like that. That's why I love Brock Holt. He'll fucking, he'll sell popcorn if it means he's, he gets to do something. Like, he's, he'll be that kid that holds the fucking clipboard and fucking, oh, uh, ground out, that's five to three. He'll write five to three on the fucking thing for the manager. Even though it's digitalized, no one has to do that. He'll do that just for the fuck of it. Because he's the man. I love Brock Holt. He's on the Rangers now. Holy shit. Can I strike this guy out? Nope. You win! <gasps> Fuck off, he went! Totally fucking went, but alright. see. How many pitches am I at now? 49. 50th pitch. Great. Yeah, see you later, Jack. Fucking Willie Calhoun. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, where where was that? You swung and missed. That's where it was. You swung and missed. My mouth is fucking burnt too. Sometimes, oh, sometimes I eat lean cuisines just about every day, and this one literally burnt the inside of my mouth. Even though I let it stand for like a minute, and I was just fucking hungry. And I thought the steam was long gone. One out. And it just, you know, it burnt my, the tip of my tongue. And, and it burnt my, um, my mouth a little bit. Now my mouth just gets drier. It's also because I'm talking a lot. I don't get to do things like these. I'm normally just listening to the story. I'm just vibing right now. I'm just fucking dealing. I'm pitching gas. I'm striking this guy out. Just like that. Later, bud. Later, bud. Rugne Odor. This game's not up to date. He's on the Yankees now, and he doesn't look anything like he does here. Like, him shaving that beard is fucking crazy. I think MLB The Show... I'm going to give the Yankee fans a fair one, because they love that no... A uh, beard thing, just the mustache. And I respect that, too. A club rule, no beard. But the Red Sox did the opposite. We did, we grew our beards out for the playoffs, and we, that's what we do. It's just, you know, playoff beard, man. It's October. You know? And this fucking, it's awesome to me, man. Like, like, wow, you can only grow a mustache and have short hair as a Yankee. Like, that is fucking respect. I respect that. But I think MLB The Show 100% should, if people are get traded to the Yankees, like let's say they bring back Brian Wilson's card, and if he has to go, and he gets signed to the Yankees, he ha they have to have a model of him without his beard. Easily. Like clean-shaven, full playoff beard. Like you gotta have that. Because I think NHL did that. Chell did that a couple years back. Like, oh, playoff, uh, regular season. Like, they grow out their beards, and that's fucking awesome. I, I love having a beard, bro. Yeah, see you later, pal. Who the fuck? 64? Oh, 13 Ks through six? Ooh, we're in for a good one. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. He has a great number, number three. The last guy I just fucking went up against had number 64. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, please get that. Oh, we already got it. Let's go. What do we got? Big famous Seamus. What's up, Ron? Hey, bud. How you doing? Thank you for highlighting, using some bits. I appreciate that. I'm just shooting the shit, getting loud. Okay. Talking about ways they can improve and will be the show. You know what's really fucked up? I said this yesterday off stream. I might, no, 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 I did say this on stream. And, uh, Folky went to make a sandwich. But, the difference between MLB The Show, like, the people that make that game and maintain that game, and the people that make Call of Duty Warzone and maintain Call of Duty Warzone, it's night and day. There was, like, server issues with MLB The Show, like, last night, or 
Uh, yeah, it was last night because they made a patch because there was other issues that were just randomly you just get booted. Oh, unhandled server issue occurred. And they fixed that. And then the, the next, you know, a couple days later, another problem happened. And then they fixed that within minutes. Why the fuck am I still dealing with aimbotters? Like, can't Call of Duty just go... Like, I know there's gonna be people out there that are cheating, but I understand it's a sports game. Motherfucker, you couldn't give me that fucking strike, you sack of horse shit. Hang on. Yeah, I know you're getting loud. I can hear you from out here. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, brother. Anyway, it just... Shit, I'm losing this guy. Fuck. Oh, that's a hit. Fuck! First hit, and it's after six and a third. God damn it. Oh, well. Um, but no, Call of Duty really needs to, like, tighten up and, like, show more care for the, their fan base. And it'll be the show fixed multiple issues within a day. Within, like, a week. You know what I mean? Like, they just... It's turn two, baby. Turn two. Barehanded. Oh, what a pick, baby. Let's go. Seven innings. Yep. Yeah, keep whacking your head, Jack. We're going to take you out back and fucking shoot you and turn you to glue. All right. Tighten up. Call of Duty needs to just, get, like, uh, the rose skin still OP. I just found the rose skin. I'm like, I'm changing to the rose skin, Jack. That was a ball. I'll give them that. Fortnite needs to do the same. Fortnite, too. All those games, they they don't care about the consumer. They just care about the money that the consumer gives. Like, hey, it, like, I could be like, hey, look, this guy's blatantly cheating. And you're not doing anything about it. Can you please fix it? They'll reply, oh, wow, they're cheating? Oh, well, here's a, a new bundle. And here's a new a skin. Wow, what a fucking retarded hit. Here's a new bundle for your piece of shit gun that you pro probably won't use. Here's another skin for, like, a Renetti. Like, thanks. Here's another clown fucking operator. Like, thanks. Just what I need. More operators and less fucking things done about real issues. There's people hiding under the map. And shooting people. I saw a video like that today. Why? Like that's why I don't play Warzone. Cause, like I deal with cheaters. I just deal with bullshit. MLB the show is just like I get to. I, I struck out 15 batters. Do you have any idea how? Like big dick energy is real, and it's fucking amazing. Just to do this. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Like, the ability to just do this. Shit, you cocksucker. Let me fucking finish my sentence. The ability to, like, strike people out is amazing. Oh, I wish he caught that. I wish he caught that. All right, I got an idea. I like that. Oh, you don't chase that one, huh? Oh. Oh, excuse me. Can of corn. Yep, can of soup. Nope, can of soup. Can of soup. See you later, Jack. That feeling, striking 16 people times. Hello? Striking out people 16 times is amazing. I literally, my brain just had a stroke. Oh, my God. Don't know where that came from. Oh. And that's the inning. Eight innings. Pitching a fucking gem. That's got to be fucking... Oh, JD's in right, too. Dude, I better be up. All right, I was going to say. I'm out of energy. Fuck. All right. Easy pop-up. That a boy, Bogey. He got it. He got it. Ah, <sighs> uh, come on. Let me finish this, coach. 
Oh, I'm at 105 pitches. Nah, he's not going to let me fucking finish. Oh, my God, he is. Fuck! Let me do that again. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, get there, Bobby. Get there, Bobby. Oh, Bob, what are you doing, Bob? Bob. Oh, oh right to the left fielder. Let's go. Come on. Ground ball to first, ball game. Complete game shutout. We gave up our hit in the first. Yep, there's a shutout. You get three pluses for that. I assume team inspired by dominant outing. I mean, he threw 16 Ks and 100 plus pitches. That was so hard. Oh man, 16 Ks. I only had three hits. Fucking great debut for Joe Musgrove, man. Great debut.